Welcome to my channel, I'm Scott, and in this video I'm going to talk about shorting stocks. How to identify a short squeeze, what is a short squeeze, how to find stocks with the highest short interest, and what is shorting in layman's terms. Let's start with that one. Shorting is actually really straightforward once you understand it. First you got to figure out what you want to short. Let's just pick Tesla. And the only reason I'm picking Tesla is because of the dollar amount. It's a nice round number, $200. You want to short Tesla. So you have to borrow a share from your broker. And now you have possession of one share of Tesla. Then you immediately sell it. Now your brokerage account increases by $200. That's your money forever, regardless of where Tesla stock goes. And these first three steps are done by your broker. You don't really do anything. You just tell them the stock you want to short and they sell it for you and put the money into your brokerage account. So step one, you borrow a share of stock. You borrow Tesla. You sell that stock right away and now you have $200. And you could do anything you want with that money. You could keep it in your account. You could take your friends out for drinks. It's your money. But you need to remember you are required to buy back the share of stock at some point to replace it, to replace the stock you borrowed. Let's pretend you have one week to replace the stock. And let's say one week later, Tesla is trading at 150. So that means you buy the stock for $150 and then you give it to your broker to replace the share you borrowed. You made 50 bucks. But what if Tesla stock went up? It didn't go down. It went up to $250 after one week. Then you would have to buy a stock of Tesla for $250 and replace the one you borrowed. So you lost $50. But there might not be a time limit. So you can wait months or years to replace that Tesla stock. If after one week, the price of Tesla is 250, you could wait another week or maybe wait a few weeks for the stock to go down to below $200 so you don't lose money on your investment. But what if it never goes down? What if it keeps going up? Therein lies the risk. Now that we understand what shorting is, let's try to find some stocks we want to short. Here are two good websites to look at. I'll leave the sites in the description of the video. If you want to know what stocks have the highest short interest, you can go to this website and you can see Fisker is number one at 47%. Some names you're probably familiar with, Carvana, Plug Power, Sirius, Kohl's. Here's Groupon. They have a 26% short interest. Let's use this as our example. If you go to this website, you can pick any stock you want and see the short interest. This is the NASDAQ short interest website. You could just type in your ticker symbol here. They do list the most viewed short interest stocks. So this could give you some more information. But let's just go back up and type in GRPN for Groupon. And this provides a settlement date, the short interest, the average daily share volume, and days to cover. So I'm just going to take a picture of this screen and bring it into Excel. Now let's go through each column so we know what it is. Settlement date. You can see they list two settlement dates a month. This is when the buyer must return the shares to the seller. And you can see the short interest is 3.9 million shares. Short interest is the number of shares sold short. So if you shorted Groupon stock, you're one of these 3.9 million shares. It is possible a big hedge fund shorted 2 million of these shares. And that one hedge fund represents half the shorts. But we do know 3.9 million shares need to be returned by 131. They also give us the average daily share volume, which is 1 million. That's the number of shares that change hands during one trading day. So each day about 1 million shares of Groupon are traded. So this implies it's going to take 3.77 days for the shorts to cover. Days to cover, number of days to close out all shorted shares. The calculation is shorted shares, this column, over average daily trading volume, this column. So 3.9 million over 1 million. If the number is greater than 10, 
that could be an indication of a short squeeze. When the days to cover is really low, like it would be in a stock like Microsoft, then there's not too much of a risk of a short squeeze. If you go to Yahoo Finance, you can see there's 39 million shares outstanding for Groupon. And they also list the average trading volume. So for the past three months, they average 900,000 shares a day. So if there's 39 million shares outstanding, how come only 1 million or even less, according to Yahoo Finance, 900,000 are traded each day? Because a lot of people buy the stock and hold it. Some people hold it for many, many years. So of the 39 million shares outstanding, 38 million shares are not traded. And if you look at their float, it's only 17 and a half million. Float are the number of shares out in the market. So there's 20 million shares that are locked up. Those 20 million shares not on float are usually held by insiders or certain prominent investors who don't sell the stock, who have to hold the stock for a certain number of years. The lower the float, the higher the chance of a short squeeze. Because the less shares out in the market, the more volatile the stock can be. So even though there's 39 million shares outstanding, on a given day, only 17 and a half million can be traded. But a lot of people are just holding their stock. So only 1 million shares are traded each day on average. Let's say you were tracking a stock for possible short squeeze and you saw the short interest was 1 million, the daily volume was 1 million. So there's not much of a chance of a short squeeze because you do know 1 million shares need to be purchased to cover their short. And there's already 1 million shares being actively traded. So the shorts can easily cover. Let's say next month the short interest triples. Now there's 3 million shorts and the daily volume stays the same around 1 million. Now it takes 3 days to cover the shorts. So it's getting a little more interesting but it's still not there. You want it to be a bit higher, at least 8. Let's pretend the following month the hedge funds apply a lot of pressure on the stock and now 9 million shares are being shorted. It triples. And the Reddit community is gobbling up the stock to hold it so there's less shares traded in the market. So the trading volume tanks. It goes from a million to half a million. Now it's going to take 18 days for the shorts to cover their position. And if they only have two weeks to cover their position, they could be in a lot of trouble because the stock price might keep going up and up and up and up. Because if there's less people willing to sell the stock and more people willing to buy the stock, demand is much higher than supply and the stock goes up. That's how stock prices move on supply and demand.